Hey, what up, those squad? Episode two of the cave. Uh, that's just something I want to talk about. But first, welcome to the cave. We in the cave. Are y'all in here with me? Okay. All right, so basically this episode of The Cave, I wanted to talk about none other than the Boston Celtics. As you guys know, we are in the playoffs still. You know, shout out to Bobby. He got the playoff beard going. You know, it's going crazy. His thing going deep. Hey, tell your girl don't worry about shaving that beard out because we going to the finals. But anyway, I want to talk about it. All right, so first off, I want to say, obviously, everybody knows that we dropped two games. You know what I'm saying? 0 to 2 to the Heat, and everybody was had their pennies all in a bunch talking about, oh, no, the Celtics going to get swept. Uh, I was talking about it on stream the other day, so I want to talk about it now. All these analysts, I get tired of hearing them talking about, oh, no, the Celtics. After every game, they got a whole different point of view. Oh, no, the Celtics going to lose. They're going to get swept. They're not playing together. These guys are just not good. You know, they're just, they're just, they're falling apart. They're arguing in the locker room. They're never going to make it. They're going to get swept. And then when we win the next game, game, I mean, when we win next game three, what they say? Oh, my God, the Celtics are back. Gordon Hayward made such a difference. They're, he probably brought the chemistry together. Oh, so much better now that he's here. Oh, these guys are going to win. It's going to be a six game, seven game series. Man, I can't stand these two faced talking ass analysts on ESPN, but. Regardless, man, Celtics are who they always been. Well-coached team, great players. Uh, Hayward coming back is a major piece that we needed. You know, I'm not a sports channel, but I'm definitely going to talk about my Celtics in the cave. Obviously, you see them right here. Oh, <laughs> right here. You know, I got to see what side of the screen. I got to see what side of the screen it is. Celtics on this side of the screen. You know that's my motherfucking squad. You know what I mean? Since like 06, 07, you know, when I first uh, got to Cali. And you know how the story is. Y'all know everybody knows I'm from Brooklyn, but uh, when I when I was in the military, I was a young kid. You know, only I watched basketball coming up. I used to say Allen Iverson was my favorite player, but I wasn't really a basket. I didn't really avidly watch basketball. Like that wasn't my, you know, that wasn't my thing. You know, what I'm saying I was a battle rapper back in my day, so I didn't have time for no sports, none of that shit. I was in the battle rapping, but um, oh, it's gonna be so smoking in the cave. Hold up. But anyway, when I got to Cali, though, you know, all my friends, they just watch basketball nonstop. So I had to, you know, get with, you know, what they was doing if I wanted to kick it. So but I didn't want to be a Lakers fan because I'm not a follower. You know what I'm saying? I'm not no, you know, I, I didn't come out here to be, you know, some dude that, you know, piggybacks off people and all this other shit. So when we was in these big groups and hanging out, barbecuing and shit, everybody wearing a purple and gold. I didn't feel comfortable. And I didn't feel comfortable wearing purple and gold. I'm not from here. And I want to be the. I I'm out of towner, so I was trying to be the enemy. I was trying to stir up shit, you know what I'm saying? So I'm fucking, I'm rocking with the Celtics, nigga. And as soon as I said that, they was like, what the fuck? And it just felt right, you know what I'm saying? It just felt right. So I always fucked with the Celtics ever since, you know, my first interactions with my squad out here in Cali. I never even been into, like, basketball. I didn't even watching it, you know, the NBA. I never watched it. I mean, I never paid attention to it. I never followed the team or no shit. Like, I never been a huge fan of you know, any particular team until that's just what we did in our crowd. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, shout out to this uh, season. Celtics is doing their thing. We holding it down. We are going to win this series. We are going to the finals. I say we win this thing in. I say we'll win it in. I want to say six, to be honest. I want to say six, but I think we'll win it in seven games. I think this is a perfect time for me to put this video out because I believe that this series will go six or seven games. And then, you know, my prediction is just out there. So people can come back and drop comments on this. Oh, nigga, you was wrong. Oh, Nitro knew they were going to the finals. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I knew he was going to the finals. And we're going to play the Lakers in the finals. Easy money. And uh, we're probably going to lose. <laughs> we probably going to lose to the fucking Lakers, man. Because LeBron is just fucking next level, yo. I've always been a LeBron fan. You know, this is basically like a sports stream, you know, a sports go over real quick. I've always been a LeBron fan, even though he was on the East Coast and we were battling against him every year. You know, in 08, when we sent that nigga packing to the Miami Heat, that was a, 
That was legendary, man. Uh, we talked about it in the stream. Hey, a lot of times y'all gonna hear me say, we talked about it in the stream today because that's what these the cave talks are about. It's just me reiterating stuff that we talked about in the stream. Uh, I had my boy, uh, if you want to put it directly to the stream, my boy Taco Gang was, uh, he was, we was doing the GTA triple money thing and he was over there landing on five nonstop. Today he was going crazy. What's up with this kid, man? He was landing on five, the little small, little five nonstop landing on it. Yo, but only problem is me and A2 was on the same team. You know what I'm saying? His homie had to go use the bathroom. He had to go take a doo, -doo So, hey, it was just him dropping them fives with me and A2 was dropping threes and fours. So what you going to do, bro? You need help. You know what I'm saying? Just like LeBron in 08 when he was in Cleveland and the Boston Celtics beat the life out of that nigga and sent them to Miami. My boy uh, Taco Gang needed help. You can drop all them fives you want to, but you couldn't fuck with the team because we was a team. Solid. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So just like just like I'm talking about that situation, let's transfer that to this. Let's segue to the whole playoffs right now. The Heat ain't got the team that we got, baby. Hayward just got back. We not, they not going to be able to stop us. Straight like that. They not going to be able to stop us. You feel me? But we appreciate them being, you know, a decent team, putting up a fight. They won the first two games. Everybody thought they was going to do some shit. I'll tell you right now, though, this shit is over. Celtics going to the finals. Lakers going to the finals. Lakers are probably winning six games. You know what I'm saying? I give them six games, but they're going to be the champs. Shout out to LeBron. I'm really proud of LeBron, you know what I mean? Being the, uh, the beast that he is. You know what I'm saying? I just want to see I just want to see him do great no matter what because niggas always been hating on Bron Bron. So, you know, if you're on the East Coast or you're playing the Celtics, it's fuck Bron Bron. But if you, uh, you know, just being a, a, a great athlete, you know what I mean, on the West Coast or whatever you're doing, I'm rooting for you, man. Do your thing. Shout out to Brian Brown, you know what I'm saying? Some motherfucking dog. Ugh, you know the fucking vibes. You know what I'm saying? But uh, shout out to Brian Brown. They probably gonna shut it down. Uh, that's all I got to say about uh, that for this uh, episode of The Cave. I really just want to talk about my team. I got a feeling that these episodes are going to be about seven, eight minutes long. I'm not trying to stretch my shit out to 10 minutes because I don't need no ad revenue. Niggas be donating in my streams, bitch ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> I'm out of here, man. Uh, thank you guys for pulling up. Uh, you know, I didn't even play any um, any tunes this time because I really got into my sports shit. But I might as well play my jam on the way out. You feel me? Let y'all rock out with that joint. I see you guys tomorrow, uh, three three p.m. for GTA, ten p.m. Fort Neasy, and uh, let's go Celtics, baby. We out of here. Big love to the squad. Without a threat And I can't wait to see What happens next How far can we